Allen Career Institute announces special leader course for JEE main and advanced classes from 15th April. For more detail, log on to allen.ac.in. Question number 33, it is given a solution of 1-chloro-1-phenyl-ethane in toluene racemizes slowly in presence of small amount of SBCl5 due to formations of four options given carbonyl, carbene, carbocate and free radical. That means this question is based on reaction intermediate. Let us see what is the reactions given. One structure is given, it is given 1-chloro-1-phenyl-ethane. And if we write down the structures, the structure will be this. It's a 1 chloro, 1 phenyl ethane. Now it reacts with SBCl5. Now what is the use of SBCl5? SBCl5 is a actually Lewis acid. And its use is, its purpose is to abstract Cl minus and during this process SBCl6 minus is formed and one reaction intermediate is formed that is our carbocation and it's a short of reversible process and that carbocation is sp2 hybridized and all of us know ki sp2 hybridized carbon having PZ orbitals, vacant PZ orbitals. That PZ orbitals will be attacked by SBCl6 minus and Cl minus attacks both sides in equal probability. Cl minus attacks both sides in equal probability. And if it is equal probability reaction takes place, it gives rise to plus minus plus minus racemic mixture of racemic mixture of the same compound you know it's a H it's a pH it's a CS3 it's may H R I pH R I CS3 R I and racemization takes place the compound becoming optically inactive so we started with optically active compound it's a minus pure optically active compound and we gives ultimately at the end of the reactions the product become optically inactive and that's why the process is called racemization and the intermediate generated is our carbocation and the answer is three Question number 48, question is given, synthesis of each molecule of glucose in photosynthesis involves. To synthesize glucose, the cycle which is used that is called Kelvin cycle. Now Kelvin cycle is illustrated as follows. What is Kelvin cycle? The starting compound is ribulose 1,5 biphosphate and First step is carboxylation and it is giving 3 phosphoglycerate. Second step is reductions, 3 phosphoglycerate converted into triose phosphate and that triose phosphate is regenerated into ribulose 1,5 biphosphate. What happened in the first step? In the first step, carbon dioxide is introduced and one carbon is fixed or added. And one carbon is added and here in this step glucose is formed and glucose having six carbons so six Kelvin cycles total required. Now in the second step two molecules of ATP is consumed. And 
in the third step during regeneration one molecule of ATP is consumed so total ATP consumed in Kelvin cycle one Kelvin cycle is three but as there are six Kelvin cycles are required so total ATP consumed total ATP consumed is three into six that's our 18 so to get one molecules of glucose total 18 molecules of ATP will be consumed option is one next question is question number 52 to explain this question first we have to write flow diagram what is given here compound A molecular formula given C8H9Br when it reacts with alcoholic silver nitrate it gives precipitate it is given in the questions after that it is given oxidations of A gives an acid B and the molecular formula of B is C8A6O4 and B on heating it gives anhydride and there are four compounds given as options CH to be a CH3 it's a meta isomer para isomer in the first option it's the CH2 br CH3 it's a meta isomer in the second option given C2H5 br in the third option given CH2 br CH3 it's a para isomer and in the fourth option given CH2 br CH3 at first this option cannot be because silver nitrate cannot react to it phenylic bromide because phenyl carbocation is unstable so no reactions so this option cannot be now as it is allylic bromide it is also allylic bromide it is also allylic bromide so all of allylic bromide reacts with silver nitrate so from that point of view all three can be the correct answer but going through the second point when it undergoes oxidation it gives acid now ortho meta and para isomer all on oxidations giving acids and the acids will be this and it will be ortho acids dicarboxylic acid here when oxidation it gives meta acids and during oxidations this is giving para acids and here meta isomer during oxidations giving meta acids now on hitting question is which of the acids giving anhydride and the answer is ortho acid only because in ortho acid when it undergoes heating it can lose water molecules and what is the product the product is cyclic anhydride so if we consider that point that options will be correct so the answer is 4 